guys, I'm the Ant Warrior, and today I'm going to be unboxing Alasius Flavis Queen from Ants and I. I hope you enjoy. This is my first time ever ordering from Ants and I, and it's only my second time ordering a Queen Ant or any live insect before, so it'll be very interesting to see how well packaged this Queen is. Before we take our first look at the Queen, I just want to say I've got Instagram and Facebook now, so I will be leaving a link to them both in the description box below. I've just taken the package off camera to cut some of the tape off as it's quite hard to do on camera as I'm filming this on a very small table and even if I touch my phone with a hair on my arm it will fall over. I usually create these videos with my phone and an editing app on my phone however I have just bought a camera add-on for my phone which should be interesting and hopefully it will improve my video quality and maybe enhance the amount I can zoom in on my ants without it looking blurry. If you would like to see me unbox this camera add-on then make sure you tell me in the comments. I'm also going to be introducing something new called question of the week. If you have any ant related questions then write them down in the comments and I'll choose one every week to answer at the end of a video. Now let's have a look at the contents of this package. As you can see the package products have been protected by a layer of bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is always great to use if you're shipping ants, as sometimes packages can get thrown around in the mail, so this bubble wrap can help to soften the blows any package might receive. This seller tape is actually a great addition to this package, as lots of packages just have the contents just almost rolling around, so if you're having a queen in a package and you have other products rolling around inside the package, it can bang into the test tube and sometimes even cause the test tube to smash. The bottom layer of the package consists of a block of polystyrene. Polystyrene is great because it also works to prevent any damage to the products. This is a pipette, this comes in really useful with ant keeping as you can use it to suck up liquids and then drop the liquids out of the end. However, I did already have two of these but I'm pretty sure I lost them, so this package came at the perfect time. Now let's take a look at the Queen. She's wrapped in a very squishy cover which is always good as it helps to absorb any vibrations that could stress the queen out. While unwrapping the queen I was careful not to spin the test tube as this could cause a lot of unneeded stress. Let's take a look at this majestic beauty. Unfortunately, the Queen's brood did not arrive alive. This is most likely down to stress. Usually, post offices are very rough with packages and will just throw them around like they're nothing, even if they're labelled live insects. This is not a problem on behalf of Ants and I. Ants and I did a beautiful job with this package and the brood is just a sad reality of postage. Queens like Lacius Flavus or Mesobarbarus are easily stressed, so even the faintest of vibrations could cause the queen to eat her brood. And it really doesn't help when postal services are just chucking the packages around. The queen herself, however, appeared to be in perfect condition. She seemed energised and active and seemed to have no injuries whatsoever. Hopefully, with the right condition, she'll lay a new fresh batch of eggs in no time. This test tube may seem small, however, it is the perfect size for a small ant species like Lacey's Flavors. Now it's time for question of the week. The question this week is, can ants have multiple queens? The answer is yes and no. Some species of ants like Myrmica can tolerate multiple queens because they are polygene. However, some ants like Lacius niger are monogene, which means they can't tolerate multiple queens. I hope this answered the question. 
I ended up dropping a small amount of blueberry syrup onto the cotton that blocks the test tube. I dropped it on the cotton so that the queen wouldn't drown as Lacey's flavours are known to drown in drops of liquid. I thought by giving her some sugar it might enhance the speed that she lays eggs. Thank you so much to Ants and I for this beautiful queen. She really is stunning. If you're interested in buying a queen ant then I'll leave a link to Ants and I's website in the description box below. Unfortunately I'm going to have to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!